So this is a continuation video in relation to pedagogical strategies that could be used to promote learning in the area of early childhood. So I'm going to continue from where I stopped in my last video in relation to some of the pedagogical strategies that you could use to promote learning in your early childhood classroom. So next, I'm going to be talking about open-ended questions. Yeah. Use open-ended questions to promote learning and development in your early childhood classroom. So open-ended question is not the same as yes or no question. So in relation to early childhood, you want to empower the children, you want to extend their learning. So this is where open-ended question comes in. A question such as, boys and girls, what would you like to do today? So you're giving them the options to decide what they would like to do. Instead of saying, would you like water play or sound play? So definitely they're going to choose either water play or sound play. But when you ask an open-ended question such as, boys and girls, what would you like to do today? So you're giving them the options to be able to decide to choose what they would like to do today. So open-ended question could be used to promote learning and development. So for instance, when you're sharing story with the children as well, so you could ask them, what do you think is going to happen in the next page? Yes, what do you think is going to happen in the next page? Connor, what do you think is going to happen in the next page? So this is an open-ended question. You're giving the children the opportunity to think, to tell you what they think is going to happen in the next page. It's different from saying, oh, do you think the dog is going to come for the lion in the next page? Definitely, they're going to say yes or no. But when you ask them question, what do you think is going to happen in the next page? They are going to think. This to do with the children using their imagination. So they're going to think for a second. What do I think is going to happen in the next page? And it shows that they are following the sequence of the story. So open-ended question is another pedagogical strategy that you could use to promote learning in the early childhood. Another pedagogical strategy is modeling. So modeling is show and tell. So you're showing the children what you want them to do. For instance, if you want to introduce something new into your early childhood classroom, see what modeling comes in. So you're showing the children, oh, boys and girls, this is what you're going to do today. You're telling them, oh, you're showing them how to do things. For instance, if you want the children to wear their coat so you're showing them how to wear their coat so you're modeling this you're showing them you're saying boys and girls watch me why i wear my coat watch me how i tie my shoelaces so you're modeling this and in return the children will be able to do this unaided so modeling is another pedagogical strategy that you could implement in your early childhood classroom to promote learning and development so modeling is if you're going to do something new in your early childhood classroom this is where modeling comes in so you're showing the children the children are watching you do this and in return they will be able to do this on their own unaided Lastly, another pedagogical strategy that I'm going to be talking about is active listening. This is really important in the area of early childhood. So active listening is just simply listening to the children. But in relation to active listening, you have to stop whatever you're doing and you pay closer attention to the children. You're maintaining eye contact. You are at the lower level where the children can see that you're actually listening to them. So active listening is not being on your phone or you're talking to another child and then you're saying, Florence, I can hear you say what you're saying. No, active listening is you're paying closer attention to the children. Your posture says it all. Your eye contact, you're looking at the children. You're at their lower level. You're sitting down beside them. It shows that you're listening to them and they'll be able to tell you what they want to tell you. Active listening does promote learning and development in the in childhood. It's going to boost the children's self-confidence. They're going to know that, yes, somebody is listening to them and it's going to encourage them to want to talk to you more, to all you more. So I hope you've taken note of the pedagogical strategies that are listed in relation to what you can use to promote learning and development in the early childhood classroom. So can you in the comment what pedagogical strategies you're you use or other pedagogical strategies that you're going to be using based on this video and if you want more of this video on this channel what you have to do subscribe subscription is free and not just subscribe turn on that notification bell so that whenever a new video is being dropped on this channel first person to be notified and until i come your way next time stay safe and mind yourselves for now bye